Alright, goodbye and welcome to Brave New World Blindfolded. In this episode, I'll be using the Cure spell to remove Vanish from my characters because that would make Dad the fight against Dataluma really scary. Um. So. I want Gao alone on the thing, on the turn noise thing, because he's going to be essential for this segment. He he's just the most important to remember here right now. And I'm switched my character positions because this game isn't glitchy at all. And I don't need to counteract any glitches there. So hopefully I'll get a Hades Gigas battle right away. Dang it, Gabbly Gax, that's not what I wanted at all. Rats and people are getting vanished, that means I have to remove it again. Hopefully only one character got vanished so that I don't have to spend as much time removing it. Bloopers probably won't be cut out from this segment because they're all they'll all be very interesting. And won't all be the same issue over and over again if I got good luck. Alright. That's not good enough for me, so I'm going to have to redo this segment. Hello. Alright, so I'm not heading into Zozo just yet, so I'll be dispensing with the lying talk for the moment. Just while I get myself equipped. So, skills, equip, relic. So, uh, all I want to do here is shove the hero ring on Sabin to get most use out of his aura bolt. And then I'll quickly shove the running shoes on Edgar for whatever help those will be. Just a couple more things to do equip, skills, item. And I just want to put. Sabin on the same uh, page as Edgar in terms of the uh, turn noises because that'll be the easiest way to determine who's who. And because I'm worried about this thing doing that stupid glitch where it doesn't change them properly, I'll just switch positions again. And... Alright then, so now for the real part of the segment. Alright, so this should be a quick and easy segment. It's really short, and I don't have to be worried about getting killed by a spot of bad luck. Because that really can't happen here. There's not much to remember in terms of routing. There's not much here, and it's all old news, pretty much, at this point, so... So, uh... Up and right to get around the box. One step to the right, and out of the building. 
The guy over there has very important things to say, so I should probably talk to him. Okay, I'm not here, so... Unfortunately, none of these areas are easy to remember. There, none of them stand out at all. Except for the parts where I have to count the s staircases and stuff like that. Those parts are pretty easy to remember. Good thing one of my characters got hit and I didn't attack the characters on Vanish, because that would have been significantly worse. This room's kind of boring. Like, it's the same as pretty much every other room in the game, so... I don't have to do any thinking around it. This is a very short part. I don't have to walk up for very long here, because everybody nicely gets out of my way. So I don't need to worry about it at all. I went far enough, because... I was able to open the menu. Alright, I'm not far enough anymore, I accidentally backtracked. Don't want to keep an ear out here. Lots in the way. I mean, not in the way. <laughs> that sucks, I was hoping to get bolt tooed in the face. Alright, I can just walk up on the staircase without uh, having to go around the bend there. And now down the staircase. Four, three, two. Two, one. Four, three, two, one. Four, three, two, one. Four, three, two, one. Dang it. Now for the best item in the game that I just got. Thank goodness. Although it's not quite as good as that tonic that I ditched earlier. One, four, two, one. Because that's not how I count. Drat, I failed to take damage again. Four, three, two, one. Four, three, two, one. I never tried to enter my menu there, so I have no idea whether I made that or probably or not. I've taken a lot of hits so far, but... I think I didn't leave it on the save option. Potions are not at the top, so... Oh, that's good. I took a lot of damage there. Probably haven't gone far enough right yet. Unfortunately, the items in this room are not very well placed, so they don't help me out very much in determining where I am. Drat, another missed opportunity for an, a level 2 spell. Whatever. I'll just have to deal with it.
Th those are pretty useless as items, and they hurt my navigation, so that kind of sucks. That's... Four, three, two, one. I'm pretty sure that was the worst timing for a battle imaginable, but... That last person was probably not Cyan, because Cyan's a speedy ninja and would definitely not be the last person stuck in the battle. All the way up. Four, three, two, one. Nowhere close to the top at this point. This room is probably one of the hardest rooms in this place to memorize. Too bad I'm not getting as many slam dancers as in my test run. Unfortunately, because it's so long between battles here, uh, you have to listen to this horrible music. I apologize for that. Unfortunately, that's my last opportunity for a slam dancer. And that's just plain unfortunate. Not being careful at all here. Four, three, two, one. Four, three. Three, two, one. So I'm not going up the staircase here. Gotta make sure to forget that. I'm, I'm taking so much damage here. Wow. Such damage. Four, three, two, one. This one's just, this uh, distance is just like all the other ones, because it's five spaces long. Five, four, three, two, one. But it's not like I could have just uh, walked all the way to the left, because that would have been a disaster. I would have fallen off the building, probably. Four, three, two, one. I suppose I need a lot of healing. Be a waste of time to. It's a, kind of a waste of time to double check, but. Huh? I'm 100% sure of what was going on there. And I think it. I'm now toast for Dataluma because I need to know absolutely everything that's going on to beat this beast.
Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. This guy takes forever to beat. A Blitz Rush strategy would be a horrible idea in this fight. It would only work if he didn't go down so slowly. See how many items he's throwing? That means he's not even close to dead because he just got healed a lot. On one of my test runs, I took more than one hit on this guy. Huh? Th that was completely expected. Dang it. I thought he could kill me too. Well, whatever. I'm pretty sure he did more damage than an encounter in Brave New World. I definitely was supposed to run all the way into that building. That item will be useful in a very short term manner. It'll definitely be useful before I do the tentacles fight. Unfortunately, this room is not very forgiving with its layout. I have to count steps a lot here because things don't work out perfectly. Yay, time for a short cutscene! These are definitely the best part of a blindfolded challenge. Playing through cutscenes cut blind is very exhilarating. Unfortunately, it's not as good as the shopping segments. Those are just a bomb. And no, I didn't just say da bomb. Yay, front story. That was a really good joke. I wish this cutscene would go on forever. I know when this cutscene is going to end because that's when the music starts up. It starts up quite quickly too. Quite suddenly. It's not even close to over at this point.
I'm definitely looking forward to that segment where I get to play as Madu, and that seems like it'll just be so much fun. Thank goodness the Espers didn't put any doors on their caves. This is shorter than I thought. Rana, implode! I couldn't see that through the blanket at all. There's no way I'm gonna have to get a thicker blanket here. I could see everything else though, so I'm fine. The old man is not really gone. Actually, he kind of is, but... I'm sure the spells I get from this will be entirely useless and I'll have to rely entirely on physical attacks for the rest of the game. Because that's generally the norm in Final Fantasy VI. Not that I'm playing that anyway, I'm playing Final Fantasy IX, clearly, but... Final Fantasy IX leashed. So I'm not on the item menu right now because I never had to heal. I'm going to keep be keeping Edgar around for the next part. Hang on, I'm breaking Sabin too, aren't I? Too bad I remembered that. That could have been really good otherwise. As long as I mess this up, I hey, don't have to go back to Narsh. Alright, one step to the right, all the way up, one step to the left, oh hang on, I'm there, oops, I mean yay, let's see, where did I probably not end up? I don't think I've sorted it out. Cool, and I thought that segment was going to be virtually flawless as well, but thankfully I messed something up right at the end. Makes it all better. Although it is a less, little bit less funny now. Alright, so my party selection in this uh, next part is going to be Edgar and Sabin. And if I were to bring Cyan, it would be because he's the best character in the game, and not because it distributes the... Oh, crud. I forgot. I mean, 
I couldn't even say that lying because... Whatever, I'm almost out of here anyway. I don't care. I'm just gonna go back to Narsh. I'll keep the segment. I I'm returning to the belt anyway, so I'll keep the segment and return to Narsh off camera, but still that bites. Good thing I figured that out before Brave New World, or... Because... I, I wouldn't have wanted to make that mistake there, where I'm not planning on taking a return trip to the Veld. <coughs> Alright, so I'm on Relic. Quit skills item. Alright, I wasn't on Relic. Well, this is a disaster, but I'll keep going anyway. See you next time.